Today, I'll introduce an energizing breakfast menu with chicken as the main ingredient. Perfect for the hot summers, it's full of protein and satisfying, but we try to make it healthier. There's also a super easy new version of pickled cucumber and cold soup recipes. Enjoy! Today, I'm making a rice dish with protein rich edamame as the main ingredient. I usually use frozen edamame, but today I use this delicious fresh one. This is the brand marked by the Tengu symbol. It's a specialty of Guma Prefecture, my hometown. Wash them lightly in water. Since they have downy hairs, rub salt into them before boiling. More salt is fine. As it will be washed away with hot water later. Since the mud is large, mix thoroughly. This brand of edamame has very strong edamame aroma compared to other brands and is really tasty. I'm so happy to be able to buy edamame from my hometown in Tokyo. Put the salted edamame into boiling water. Boil for about two and a half minutes. By the way, edamame are beans harvested when the soybeans are still green and immature. And edamame has aspects of both vegetables and beans, and while rich in protein, it's also a truly excellent source of various nutrients, including dietary fiber, vitamins, folic acid, iron, and potassium. Frozen edamame can be used, so please try to incorporate them into your diet. When slightly cooled, remove the beans from the pot. Sprinkle the remaining edamame with salt and serve as a snack, maybe for dinner. With this and beer, it's perfectly Japanese izakaya style. Next, let's make quick cucumber pickles. Cucumbers are cheap in the summer, so even if I don't need them, I end up putting them in my shopping cart. Cut it into any shape you like. Seasonings are grated ginger, chicken stock powder, sesame oil, and soy sauce. It's super easy because all you have to do is mix it in the bag. It's okay to soak them while you are making other dishes. I forgot to add the dried bonito flakes after a little while, so I added them. This can be done without. Next, chop the vegetables for the soup. My husband is pleased when the soup contains tender cooked eggplant. I had some carrots left in the fridge, so I added them too. With one really simple twist, you could make it some already. Use a little less water than you normally use for miso soup. Okra will be added to the soup later. Rub salt on it and leave it for a while to remove hairs. This asparagus will play an important supporting role today. It's used for the main dish later. By the way, asparagus seem to have a relatively high protein content among vegetables. After scraping off the tough root part of the asparagus, cut them into small pieces. Add tomato to the soup for color. Let the okra sit for a minute, then rinse in water and cut into bite-sized pieces. Melt a little butter in a fry pan and fry asparagus. Here the asparagus is cooked through and lightly seasoned. Put salt and pepper, garlic powder, this should be done before cooking the main dish as it needs to be cool. Once the eggplant is nice and tender, turn off the heat. Today I will make a main dish called chicken nanbang, chicken with vinegar and tartar sauce. First, make the tartar sauce. Add this pond sauce to make a Japanese style tartar sauce. Just a little bit of this gives it the best flavor and I really recommend it. Pond sauce can also be homemade with these ingredients, so if you have time, give it a try. Prepare one hard boiled egg. The whites of eggs are very moist, so I wrap it them in paper towel and put them in the fridge for a while beforehand. 
Place the egg yolk in a bowl and chop the white. Add mayonnaise. Cool the asparagus. Pond sauce. I should have mashed the egg yolk three before mixing it. I tasted it and added a little sugar. A little bit of sugar will enhance the flavor. Usually, tato sauce is made with chopped onions and pickles, right? My husband prefers not to include them, so we skip them. I put asparagus in place of those and it was even better than I expected. They add a wonderful crunch to the sauce and have a great balance of flavor. Next, let's prepare the chicken. I would have preferred to use thigh meat with skin, but to make it healthier, I use breast meat. Plus, I remove the skin. My husband doesn't like it unless it's thigh meat, but he actually wrote that this dish was really good today. Cut the chicken into pieces as desired. I cut my thinner so that it would cook more easily. Sprinkle salt and pepper on both sides. Sprinkle a thin layer of potato starch. Usually this dish is made by coating chicken in flour, dipping it in egg and deep frying it in oil. However, today I'll only dust it with potato starch and fry it in a small amount of oil. Fry for about 3 to 4 minutes. In the meantime, make the sauce that will flavor the chicken. This is so simple. Combine soy sauce, rice vinegar, and sugar. The sour yet sweet addictive sauce is the key to this dish. The combination of this sauce and tartar sauce is the best. Turn over and fry it for 2 minutes. I cut it thin and it cooked quickly. Add the sauce you just made. I like that I don't have to change pot and pan because I use so little oil. It's easy. Let the sauce simmer for about 1 minute. Then turn off the heat. Do not overcook the sauce too much. Turn off the heat and leave the chicken to marinate in the sauce as is. Even if you don't butter it well and fry it in a lot of oil, it turns out very tasty today because of the strong flavor of the sauce and the tartar sauce. Rice was cooked in a rice cooker as usual. Put salted shredded kelp, shio kombu. Tossing in sesame oil mellows out the unique seaweed flavor. Add white sesame seeds and edamame. Rice made with this edamame has the best aroma. The good smell of edamame is really strong and delicious. Combining edamame, which is an excellent vegetable and protein, with rice is a perfect meal in itself. When everything is ready, reheat the soup. Bring to a boil and add okra. Okra is ready when heated for 1 to 2 minutes. Turn off the heat and add miso paste. Don't forget the dash powder as needed. Drinking miso soup in the summer makes me sweat non-stop, so today I'll make this cold. Because I use less water, this is a very strong tasting soup. After serving the soup in bowls, add some ice here. It's better if the soup is cooled down a little before adding ice. Let's add tomatoes here. Cold miso soup with plenty of summer vegetables is a pleasant change from the usual miso soup. This chicken namba was the best I have ever made. I'll definitely make it again. Cucumber pickles were also a great success. Please try to make it. Thank you so much for watching our video. Please subscribe to our channel. If you are already a subscriber and would like to support our channel, please join our membership.
Membership feedback will be reflected in content creation. See you in the next video.